What's happening here? Yeah. Hold on. Day two of the show, but it's my fourth day here now. We went to try to get the shuttle, but the shuttle was done. I think because we're late again, surprise. So we just ended up getting Uber. We met two guys, so Kareem and I were speaking in Arabic, and two other Arabic guys from Jordan just saw us, started chatting, whoa. So we're headed to our Uber and back to CES. is looking much busier. The glasses, they're transitional, so they'll change. I'm going to DJI today. Future with Sam here. So I didn't end up going to see what DJI is doing because DJI wasn't at CES this year. And uh, I only found that out later. I don't know why I was under the impression they were there. But apparently they were not allowed this year to show due to human rights violations, which I mean, I get it. But anyway, so I didn't see DJI. And uh, there's a BMW car that is sitting in a different building. I want to try to see if I can get it. Something else. You have like the experience is something else. LG was showing this wireless OLED TV yesterday. We came to check it out today, and then we were talking about what wireless is. The only thing that's connected to the wall is your power outlet, and then everything else is connected to this box right here. You can put that box anywhere you want in the room, so you're not stuck to putting everything on the wall. And the idea of that is for you to mount the TV on the wall as flush as possible. Anything that goes behind the TV, all the cables and all that, you just need to make room for the power cable. This is some cool tech. I'm standing in the middle of a room at LG. This whole room is gonna transform into an extended experience of this TV that I'm watching. I'll show you what I mean. All right, this is, I'm walking right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretending to walk. It's a very weird experience, so when you walk, the screen looks like, the whole wall looks like it's walking. We're on the beach, and there you go, what is it? It just changed the whole scene somewhere else. Something absolutely interesting, but I don't know. I don't see it happening anytime soon. LG has to be one of the best booths. I mean, everything that we've seen so far, but LG has been killing it. It's just massive. Would you buy NFT shoes? In LG's booth, there's NFT shoes. You get an actual physical, but that's not what you're getting. You get a virtual shoe and a box. I don't know, I'm still not there. LG with the appliances. I mean, I don't need a washer or dryer, but there's sharp, clean lines. Amazing, and then there's that fridge there. LG section, design-wise, everything is designed by Mui, M-O-O-O-I. The whole, this whole space is turned into a living space where decor is kind of mixed with technology. This piece, the fabric here, is designed by Mui, and then they put the monitor on it so it's integrated, and you see it moving a little bit, slightly. Oh, just check out the detail. This is the one of a kind prototype. Oh, 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 oh. It's gonna come up. There we go. Oh. No, I can't. I can't pull it off. If you just look at his face, the details of the expression and the texture and the material and the finish of his face. This is, this is Pixar. I was walking around and came across a booth that was doing some cool stuff in the water. So what we did this week at CES, we launched a product called the Seagull Pro. 
It's our first quad motor system. It's allowing it to press against and climb the walls. So it cleans the floors, walls, water line tile. It has what we call wave path navigation technology. It'll map itself out on the pool floor, know exactly where it needs to clean, how it needs to clean it, and how long it's gonna to take to clean it. This one will be available in March. You're based in Atlanta, so for the people that are watching here, are you selling in Canada or outside we, of the US? We're in the process of doing that. I have all in North America, so we're in the process of getting distribution in Canada. We have distribution here in the States that we can actually send, so there's a couple of different items we can look at. You can even go to APER.com and find it on our website to buy direct when that's available. Okay, amazing. And if we can walk to this unit, I'll show you okay, something yeah, else absolutely. if you don't mind. Here's your plug-in cord. Okay. Charge it for about an hour and a half, unplug it. Then what you're going to do is turn it on. Here's your on button. So it'll be floor only, mm -hmm. walls only. Okay. You do both. Got it. I'm just drop it in the pool and let it go. Okay. I don't have to touch it. So the technology is already built in. So that makes it easy. Now, to clean it, all you're going to do is lift up the back, take your basket out, and empty it. So it's very, very user friendly. This one can clean up to about 3,000 square feet. Doesn't matter the gallon, but it's about 3,000 square feet of total area. What other products? Yeah, do you no, we on? have three other products that you see on the other side. So cool. I mean, again, not for me, but like just the technology for me is very fascinating. So this is our Seagull Plus. This one retails for $399. Oh, wow. So and this is floor only. Just floor only. Okay. So it. if you're high end customers, yeah, it doesn't that's not yeah. going to be the thing. This is the entry level product. This is our uh, Seagull SE. Okay. This does floor only as well. Let's say they may have a, at these big, at your you know, house, they may have a pond yes. that has some leaves in it. Okay. That has just, you know, flat bottom. As long as it has about eight to 10 inches of water that goes above this, Okay. you can drop this in that. So it's made for smaller bodies of water. And flat bottom. Nothing with any shape, any slopes. Okay. Or, and these two do the same thing. The Elite is yeah. a smaller version of that. This has a dual mode system. That's a quad mode. How much are? Uh, yeah. This is dual mode. So this one will climb walls. It will do water line tile. Do the same thing earlier. Just a little bit smaller unit, a little bit lighter unit, because it doesn't have as much, you know, uh, the motors in it. So there you go. There. The key to this one again is we don't have any cords hanging from it. That's this one right. could be cleaning while you're sitting there having a drink or having visitors come over. It makes it easy. Amazing. All right. And we got someone, this is how you start it, so you're just putting it in. Choose the mode that you want it to go on, if it's floor, if it's floor and walls, or just walls, and you just let it do its thing. One thing, Brent, we didn't, I didn't ask you how long, so I think you told me how long it takes to charge. About an hour and a half. The okay, Pro does about an hour and a half. And how long does it last? The three hour runtime per cycle. So this is the fresh one that we just dropped in. And then there's the other one there. Thank you very much. I'll put links and everything for the company. If you contact them for more information, I'll put all the links. Thank you. This car has solar panels on the hood, on the roof, and on the trunk. Front or frunk, because it's not a trunk, it's a trunk in the front where there's no engine. Can I? It feels so soft too, I want to sleep on it. Yeah, it's like a little cradle <laughs> for your tech, right? Yeah, absolutely. Then you've got the front here, so say you're at the airport, whatever, you've got stuff, you like want easy access, you can have more of these, you can put whatever you need, another zipper here. This zips up, so it can be like here, or you can, for yeah, deeper awesome. side pockets. You have, this is what you, I think all creators yeah. really love for us, because you have these here that you can do, but you can also take them out. This comes down, if I unzip that, and you can button it here, so you can... Okay, so you change the size of it to yeah, like get space mm -hmm. up there. Right? Every one of them comes with another case here. You can put wires, whatever you need, charging packs, okay. all of that stuff. And then, of course, this can undo. You can put more stuff, you can put a water bottle in there, whatever you want. And then on the back side, it's like for a luggage slide. If you're like traveling, you can oh, put it okay. so you don't have to carry okay, it. Okay. And that's some hidden pockets and everything. So if you have passport, anything you don't really got want, people easy access, so you can put that in there. I know. Amazing. The company is STM Goods, yes? Yeah. So these guys draw me in because they were giving away free skateboards, but I didn't want to line up. It was such a long line. And then now I decided to line up, but it did the trick. 
It, it worked. Look who's here. Have you ever played Contra? This is the holographic version of the real me. Saw these guys hypervision a few years ago when we were at CS. But this year they have these big like billboards that are basically nothing on them. And just holograms. Fascinated also with US Post Office because they're at CS every year. I haven't checked them out honestly, but I, I find it very interesting. Where's uh, Canada Post? Whenever there's a line, there's something happening. Canon is working on some mixed reality stuff. They're showcasing a movie. Too much of a line. What's happening here? Yeah. Hold on. Found out what's going on. Korean company, and they deal with VR, so they're using Oculus right now, and they collaborate with a software company, and basically these people here behind me are experiencing virtual shopping experience where you go into a store, pick up the items, you buy them, and they get delivered in real life. This section here is for entertainment, so you can, they were attending a concert, sitting in the crowd, looking around. I'm such a nerd. On the phone with Bell, because uh, my iPhone is killing me with internet this whole trip. I'm supposed to have one gig of fast internet a day, but I'm not doing that, so. Okay, so they load it up now. Yeah, yeah, right. she's great. I have internet again, but only one gig of fast internet. I don't get this, why? Like, I have a business line, but they only give me one gig of fast internet in, in the US or anywhere if you're roaming, which is weird. I keep getting this question here, who are you with? And I keep telling them I'm with myself, I'm independent. I don't know what to tell them, but it's it's interesting coming as media. There's no line skipping or anything, like you're just lining up doing everything, but there are certain things. When I go to any booth, they'll approach me asking me if I have any questions versus having to like fight for their attention. So maybe when I, I get big on social media, I end up skipping lines, but not yet. And of course, we talk about Sony and Canon, and we saw Nikon in the beginning, who Panasonic is here too. I'm talking in terms of cameras. I know a few people around me that use Panasonic. You know also, I mean, the elephant in the room, this place is a germ fest. That wasn't an ad, by the way. I love their products, it's so pure. Best hand sanitizer. And I'm not just saying that because I created their brand launch video or anything, but it's solid. Met these cool people. Um, Free subscription? Oh, amazing. Yeah, but right, I'll guys. touch it up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I'm done for the day. It's been it's been a long day, and uh, we still have some time tomorrow. Tomorrow is a shorter day, but I saw some cool stuff. When you get out, there are buses, shuttles that take you to your spot. They're numbered, so this is five to nine. But look at these lines. Mine is not that long. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Back to the hotel now. Actually, a few days ago when I was going by, they were, they were looking at me when I was filming. So I, then I asked someone, am I not allowed to film here? And they said, not really, not in the gaming area, so... Okay. So, when I decided to do this, when I decided to vlog, it was a very abrupt decision. I didn't really think about it. I just said, you know what, I've been doing this on Instagram, let me try. This shit is hard. I mean, this is my first attempt at vlogging on, like, just the whole setup and everything. But doing it with a whole camera walking around, it's exhausting and it's also, you have to force yourself to do it, I find, at least for now. Because, like, now leaving the event, leaving the conference, coming back to the hotel, I'm exhausted. I was sitting on the bus, but it's just exhausting. So, Karim and I haven't done anything. We want to go eat. There's a place called Nacho Daddy. If I go, I'm going to take you with you. If the scene after this is Nacho Daddy, then that means we went, and I'll tell you about it. But if it's not, then that means we didn't go. Thank you.